we now have the sufficient knowledge of z parameters and y parameters and uh, now we want to perform the conversion of y parameters to z parameters this means we have the y parameters and we want to express the z parameters in terms of y parameters so let's see how we can perform the conversion we know when we multiply the impedance matrix and the current matrix we get the voltage matrix and we also know that when we multiply the admittance matrix and the voltage matrix we get the current matrix and from here we can say that voltage matrix is equal to the inverse of admittance matrix multiplied to the current matrix now compare this and this you will find the impedance matrix is equal to the inverse of admittance matrix so this is what we have after performing the comparison the impedance matrix is equal to the inverse of admittance matrix remember this important point we will use it while solving the questions now if we talk about the impedance matrix we know that it is a 2 by 2 matrix having the elements z11 z12 z21 and z22 the four parameters are known as z parameters and the admittance matrix is also a 2 by 2 matrix like the impedance matrix having the elements y11 y12 y21 and y22 and we are required to find out the inverse of this 2 by 2 matrix and we know the inverse of a matrix is equal to the adjoint of the matrix divided by the determinant of the matrix now we will first understand how we can find out the adjoint of admittance matrix the adjoint of the admittance matrix will have the same order that is it will be 2 by 2 matrix and it will be the transpose of the matrix which is having the elements replaced by the cofactors that is y11 will be replaced by minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 multiplied to y22 this is the cofactor of y11 here we have minus 1 power 1 plus 1 because 1 is the row and 1 is the column y11 is the element of first row first column similarly cofactor of y12 will be minus y21 now i'm directly writing down the cofactors y21 will have the cofactor as minus y12 and then y22 will have the cofactor as y11 so in this way we have obtained the matrix which is having the elements replaced by their cofactors and then we will divide by the determinant of the matrix now moving forward we will take the transpose of this matrix on the left hand side we will have the matrix with elements z11 z12 z21 and z22 and on the right hand side we will have the matrix with first element as y22 and then we have minus y12 this element will come at this position because we are taking the transpose after this we have minus y to 1 and then finally we have y11 then we will divide by the determinant of the matrix and the determinant of the matrix in our case will be 
y11 multiplied to y22 y11 multiplied to y22 minus y21 multiplied to y12 minus y21 multiplied to y12 so in this way you can calculate the determinant of the admittance matrix and then you can divide the already known y22 minus y12 minus y21 and y11 by the determinant and after comparison you will find z11 is equal to y22 divided by the determinant of admittance matrix y22 divided by the determinant after this z12 will be equal to minus y12 divided by the determinant then z21 is equal to minus y21 divided by the determinant and finally z22 will be equal to y11 divided by the determinant so in this way we have obtained the z parameters in terms of y parameters and this is how you are required to perform the conversion now to remember this you can simply put negative sign in front of y12 and y21 and then you can replace y11 by y22 and y22 by y11 so in this way you will have the matrix like this and then finally divide by the determinant so i hope the discussion we had in this lecture was clear to you now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one